Yoshi here, it's your boy Fistin and his ass, bringing you another great edition of Black Ops 2 for me to you, because that's what I do on your favorite map, Drone, 9v9, Ground War, Kill Confirmed, and I wanted to bring you a special, interesting edition of gameplay. I had other great gameplays all day today, I have my, my computer, I said I wanted to cover the M27, but I thought this was more important uh, coming out of the weekend. Some of the stuff that I learned that I wanted to pass on to you guys. Now, this is the 556. It's in the Assault Commando. It's probably the third or fourth unlock. I don't, know. I don't really remember the exact unlock. I'm using my jungle camo on it. It's awesome. And the attachments that I'm running is the selector, uh, the grip the stock and my perks are ghost hardline scavenger and engineer and uh, here's the thing about this weapon that I, I want to pass on you guys now you'll notice that a lot of other weapons like the M27 or the type 25 or the or the um, the MA, you know, the, you can have selectors on there, and some of them can burst, and you'll burn a lot of ammo. Like, for example, the M8, you'll burn a lot of ammo, and it's all over the place, and, you know, I think they nerfed it after Gamescon or whatever it was. You know, people were complaining about it. So, the thing is, is that, it, you know, you get a burst, if you switch to auto, it's all over the place, and it's not really, it doesn't have that where the barrel's really heavy at the end and it'll just kick up really high or the M25 is the same thing you burn ammo really fast so you, you, you're looking for that right balance and the reason why I'm showing this map and not like the other game that I had today was like 78-1 is that this game shows you very close quarters combat and long distance gameplay and what, I, what I've been doing since I've been playing every day is that I'm starting to like develop this play style where I use the selector a lot so you use a selector I mean the 556 commando is probably um, one of the best assault rifle um, one of the best assault rifle selector combo uh, weapons in the game and the reason being is this, you know, switching between semi-burst semi or between burst and automatic, it is the best one to switch between burst and automatic. Because here's the thing, you can burst and when you burst it's a three shot burst and it usually kills at long distance. So let's say you're on a map and you hit a long alleyway or something, you want to go up against a sniper or somebody, you know, camping with a target finder. So then you switch over to, uh, or somebody camping in the room or in a window. Switch over to burst, take them out. Then you're making your move, you're rushing, you're moving up into the spawn or you're getting ready to set up. And I find myself now switching to the automatic. So now... I'm starting to find a use for it in this particular weapon. And that is, like, I'm killing, I'm beating a lot of SMG players. Because the 556 Commando has a nice rate, nice high rate of fire for my liking. And it seems to work really well. So if I get into tight quarters, tight situations, my assault rifle is really heavy. And you know it takes less bullets with an assault rifle to kill you versus an SMG. So you get the best of both worlds. Like I said, I think this is one of the best assault rifles in the game. You know, next to, you know, like, I mean, the fail is okay, but it's no, it's, you won't be able to take on um, mass multiple targets where you can switch to the auto fi automatic uh, selector for the uh, 556 commando the rate of fire is so high on it it's really good so that's why I wanted to show this map you'll see examples of it in this gameplay you know I'll, uh, you know when I go between uh, short areas and long areas if I get in close quarter combats I leave it an auto if I get into you know uh, long fighting uh, 
straightaways, I'll switch it over to the uh, selector, to the semi-automatic burst. And that's the thing. You need to start finding that weapon that works for you in that situation. Now, I was going to do a video on the M on the Type 25. I misquoted myself by saying the M27. To be honest with you, uh, I really, out of all the assault rifles, I think the M27, for how I use the assault rifles, is my least favorite. Now, some people may say it's, you know, it's really accurate at long range. It's pretty heavy in the front. I just don't think it has the power comparative to the Type 25 or the the 5.56, any of the other bursting weapons in the game. It, so you're severely going to be out dueled most of the time. I mean, if you're looking for the damage, you want to go for the SCAR and you want to go for the AK. Now, a lot of times you'll see these videos, you know, you'll see people saying, oh, I got dogs and swarm, dogs and swarm all the time. You know, I would have dogs and swarm too if I was a level 55 the whole time I played the game. But unfortunately, I'm prestiging to, to 10th prestige, so I'm not going to be level 55 all the time. So you get to see a progression of how I work through the um, kill streaks as well. Now you'll notice uh, right there I'm using the burst weapon at long range, and uh, I got taken out. And I couldn't believe where this guy was at. Like, come on, I didn't even see him. And that's the thing. Like, somebody had asked me on Twitter, like, "Yo, Fist, why am I getting pre-fired on?" And this Call of Duty is different from any other Call of Duty in the fact that they have a lot of shadowing. You know, shadows, shadowing, shadows. So, for example, let's say you're in Plaza and you're in the bar and there's people coming from both angles by in the back and B in the, in the bar. You know, there's ways to knock out the shadows, but you can see people coming and you can pre-fire them. Same thing with uh, Meltdown. You know, the sun comes up from, I believe, the C flag. So anybody coming from C flag is gonna cast a shadow. So these are the things that you're gonna have to learn, like you learn all the shadows, like every map has shadows. And so somebody was asking me why I'm getting pre-fired and that's the reason why. It's not because somebody hears you, it's not because ghost isn't working, it's because they're looking at the shadows, people are learning the shadows. It's, it's a different aspect of the game that you get to learn. So my suggestion to you is go ahead and check out this commando. High rate of fire on the auto. Semi burst is great for long distance. I think it's I think it's one of the best weapons, you know, in the game. Uh, as far as the assault rifles. You know, I, I would rank it up there like I haven't really decided how I want to rank them. You know, I think the 55 is a really high rankable weapon. My scar is in there somewhere. The AK is really high up in there. The, the 25 is in there somewhere. My lower tier weapons would be probably the, the uh, M27 and the MTAR. So, you know, and, and, and the SMR. SMR is really, realistically speaking, it's, it's probably like the bottom three weapons. Uh, the SMR, there's no point in using the SMR when you can use a fail. So it pretty much lowers the rank on that weapon. So I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. I'll try to post the Type 25 tomorrow and discuss that one. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see, setups, shadows, things of that nature. Until next time, it's your boy Fist. Peace! I'm out.